In this video, we'll see the projections of oblique line. That means how we could project a given oblique line into different views like front view, top view, and side view projection. And in the other one, even how we could locate or how we could construct the oblique line on a standard coordinate system. Before we just go to the projection part, let me show you what oblique line is. Oblique lines are a line which are neither parallel nor perpendicular to either of the three principal planes like a vertical plane, profile plane, and horizontal plane. Now let me show you some animation here which can elaborate how just we can understand the oblique lines here. So if you just look over here, this is just the location of oblique line. And then if you just look from different direction just like this, you can see the line is placed on this uh, standard coordinate system in this way and then the layout of this line is this one just when you look into from the front view that means if you rotate into this way it will be just as inclined for the horizontal plane you can simply look at this one and then the other one when you just rotate into the side view you can look into this and then uh, by itself this line is also have some inclinations with respect to this horizontal plane too and then even if you just rotate into this one and then looking from the top part it will be also somehow inclined to the other profile plane here so that means this line is inclined to the vertical plane profile plane and the horizontal plane too so such types of lines are oblique lines you can refer to the other videos uh, which is related to what's a normal line what's an inclined line and then even how we could just project a point uh, so you can get the link on the video description here and then the other thing is how we could just locate the oblique line on the standard coordinate system so here is uh, an example so you can see this one so locate the given line in standard coordinate system and then escape their front top and side projection using first angle projection system so line a b where a is just three three four and then b which is six five two and then use one unit equals to one centimeter so this is the equation that means uh, we have to just locate line a b on this standard a coordinate system normal the standard coordinate system means it will have one vertical line that means y-axis and then it, 120 degree here will have x-axis into this way and then we'll have one in 120 degree will have a z-axis so they will make equal angle once you just construct all axis then we can put the locations of the line on this standard coordinate system so to look at that the first thing is just uh, line AB, that means A point A and B will be the end points of the line. So we have to put each point here. So point A is 3 cm in the X, 3 cm in the Y, and 8 cm in the Z. And then point B is 6 cm, 5 cm, and 2 cm in X, Y, and Z respectively. So once we know all this location, so we can just put in this way. So let's start from point A. So for point A, first we'll measure 3 cm in the X, that means in the X axis we'll measure 3 cm from here to here. And then once we get that construction line, we can just go in a vertical line having the measurements of Y value. That's Y in this case is also 3, so we'll measure Y in the vertical one. Once we get that, we can measure from here to here in the Z direction and then it will be 8 cm. So from here to here, it will be 8 cm. So at this point, we can just understand where the exact locations of point A is. So this is the locations of point A. So we can just mark at this point. And then for point B, the same procedure can be happened. So for point B, we'll measure from here to here in the X, which is six centimeters. So from here to here, we'll measure six centimeters. And then in the Y, we'll measure five centimeters. And then in the Z, it's only two centimeters. So we'll measure this one and then we can get that point. So that point will be the index of point B. So once we can get, we can just connect the two pointers. Then finally, we can get line AB. Once we can get that, the second step will be just the projections of the line on the plane here. So just to construct this front top and side projection, we can use this diagram. So uh, for front view, we can use X and Y coordinate system. For top view, we can use X and Z coordinate system. And then for a side view, we can use Y and Z coordinate system. Once we construct our working plane just like this, 
we can measure from this point to this point in the x that means we can get the positions of the point on the x and then from here to here we can get the positions of y so let's do that now for point a the x component is three centimeters so from here to here it will be three centimeter and then in the y coordinate at a three centimeter too so from here to here we'll measure three centimeter and then that point will be the projections of point a on the front view so we can just put that point at that portion so we can get a f a that means a front view and then for point b we'll measure from here to here with six centimeter and then in the y it's five centimeters so once you measure that you will get this location and then you can point that and then it will be bf so if you connect that you will get a line this line is the projection or the front view of the given line ab and then for now the top view the same procedure can be applied so we can extend this line into the vertical one here and then we'll measure for a point a it is in the x is three and then in the z it is eight centimeters so from here to here we'll measure eight centimeter and then we can mark that point so that point is 80 that means a top view and then for point b in the x it is six so we can follow the vertical line and then in the z direction it is a two centimeter measurement so from here to here it will be two centimeter and then we can put that point once just get the two points we can connect and then we can make the line so this line is the top view of the given line a b so a t b t will be just the top view of the line and then the same procedure will be applied for side view so for the side view we can project from a f and b f in this way and then for point a we know that for a side view we'll use the coordinate system y and z and so in the y point a is three that means it is on this horizontal line and then in the z it is eight centimeters so from here to here we'll measure eight centimeter and then once we get that we can locate that point so this is point a r that means a of right side view and then for point b in the y it is five and then it in the z it is two so from here to here we'll measure two and then we can put that point and then that point will be br that means b right side view and then we can connect the two pointers finally we can get this line so this line is the side views of the given line a b now if you just look the projections of the line on the three principal views all lines are inclined and then at the same time they are foreshortened there is no true language all the languages are foreshortened or they diminish their language so there is no the true size or the true shapes of that line or when we project the oblique line here 